Hi. I know you probably won't bother yourself with listening to me, but I believe that there is a problem. People seem not to understand the basic concept of relationships and love. And, you know, happy people wouldn't start wars, make other people suffer, and wouldn't torture animals. When people think about their happiness and satisfaction, they think about what they want to get, how much love and appreciate it they want to be, but not how to deserve that. The thing is that the relationships are as basic as market trade. If you want to get something, you gotta give something equal back, but people simply ignore that. And as a result, they sink in a reverie and then spread suffering and gloom. And this really makes me feel frustrated because I would really love to help every single person, but I can't.
No, never. What motivates you to stay alive, to wake up every day, go and do things without stopping? I wouldn't say that there is like a definite answer for this because I think it's a combination of, of lots of things. There are of course a lot of people who are close to me, you know, who make me who make me want to keep going on. Uh, their interests and just so much opportunities in this life. And I mean, come on, we're all gonna die at some point, right? So why not just try and take like the, the most of this life that you can? What do you think? love is how would you describe it there are different types of love um, but if I were to generalize then I would say that love is when you are able to think about the other person before you're thinking about yourself do you love yes I do Can you describe the first person you fell in love with? If we're talking about romantic love, uh, I fell in love with my second girlfriend. Uh, we were pretty young at that time, uh, you know, and at the time when I was falling in love, she felt, she felt just amazing. But yeah, then things turned out to be not so good. If you really had a chance to tell something to the whole humanity, like to every single person out there, what would that be? Stop thinking so damn much just about yourselves. Stop thinking, overthinking the future. Just try to enjoy present and give back to the people who are around you. Good evening, and as we come on the air this Sunday night, America is just now coming to grips with what unfolded here in the early morning hours here in Orlando. The massacre of the A-19 came right here behind us. You can see the sun is blocked and looking just over the
a certain extent, probably yes. Why haven't you killed yourself, even if you wanted to? Well, probably, first off, I didn't have enough courage for that. And the other reason is that I knew that there would be people who would be, you know, feeling kind of sad about that, so... At least. What motivates you to stay alive, wake up every day, go and do things? Probably the fact that the more you stay alive, the more time you have to do the things that you always wanted to. But some things take more time than others to complete, so I guess you just need more time to do those things. And you cannot do them if you're dead. What do you think the love is? Uh, I would say it is the reverse of Narcissism and uh, egoism, I would say those two. Do you love? Yes, I can clearly say that. Yes, I do. Can you describe the first person you fell in love with? What's so special about this person? I would say that it's not about what she, what she looked like or, I don't know, I think it, it was probably something about what she did that made me feel special in a way that I would never do that to myself. So, to be honest, my self-care level is quite low, but she was caring about me mentally and physically more than I was doing that to myself, so probably that. If you had a chance to tell something to the whole humanity, like to every single person, what would that message be? I think it would be the saying that there is only one step between bravery and stupidity.
going to die. Yeah. Why are you not dead yet? Well, my mom will be sad. What motivates you to stay alive, wake up, go, and do things every day? Those are the small things. You know, the game I bought, the small dialogue at work, or, yeah, just meet up with friends. What do you think the love is? Well, for me, love is the ability to feel safe, to be assured that someone is there for you, to be actually relaxed in their company, well, and, of course, the stupid jokes. Do you love? Well, yeah. Can you describe the first person you fell in love with? What was so special about this person? Well, she was different. She was a little bit more grown up than the others. She was an actual adult, and I think that enticed me. If you had a chance to tell something to the whole humanity, like to every single person, what would that be? Hmm. 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 Keep your nose high. expresses that happiness is not a destination it is more of a way that sounds real basic but first of all you gotta understand yourself and listen to your heart to know what would make you happy and then you should concentrate on understanding people around you because imagine that you have your home your house and you want it to be beautiful as this is the place where you live, right? The thing is that society and the whole world are our home. And I strongly believe that we all should make it more beautiful with every day, step by step, helping each other.